Hey guys, today's video is going to be a review of the Mountain Buggy Nano Travel Stroller. I purchased it with my own money, so this video is not sponsored, but I absolutely love, love, love using the stroller. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Mel. I make weekly videos and I do a lot of minimalism and motherhood tips. So I'd love to have you click that red subscribe button below if that is what you're interested in. If you're not familiar with the Mountain Buggy Nano, it is a lightweight travel stroller. It's a four wheel stroller and it is pretty small. It's about 5.9 kilos, which is about 13 pounds in weight. My Mountain Buggy Nano is a single stroller, but I have seen online that there is actually a twin version, a duo version of the stroller available, which is quite cool. You can also use a car seat or car capture with this pram and there is also a carry cot option. I've never used those two features so I won't be talking about them or demonstrating those in this review. Alright so I have the Mountain Buggy Nano version 2. I purchased it, I think it was September 2016. It's very small, it fits into small spaces so I have a small car but it would also fit really easily into your cupboard or closet at home. So it's really good if you've got limited storage space. You can take the stroller on an airplane and it's not the only travel stroller that you can do that but this one you can. I was able to take it to New Zealand so that was November 2017. I went to visit my parents and they live in Wellington, New Zealand. They use smaller planes, so we fly on a 737 and it was fine to take on the actual plane. It's not so small that you can actually wheel it down the aisle of a 737 and that's the only plane that I've tried to travel with it. You do need to fold it up at the gate, but it fits fine in the overhead locker. It was so good to be able to get off the plane, open the pram straight up and put my daughter in it and then just go wheel her through immigration and customs. So for travel, the Mountain Buggy Nano also comes with its very own travel bag. When you pack the stroller away into the actual travel bag, you do have to take off the four wheels, otherwise it won't fit. However, they clip off really easily and then clip back on really easily again. And you can just store them inside the travel bag with the stroller while it's in transit. For the overhead locker option, I didn't actually need to put my bag in the travel bag or take the wheels off the stroller. I kept the wheels on it and it fit into the plane's overhead locker just fine. The other advantage of it being small and compact is that it's a great shopping pram. I just find it is so easy maneuvering around tight corners and tight spaces and in shops where the aisles and the shelves are quite close together and there's not much space for you to manoeuvre. And I have been able to squeeze through quite a few tight spots with this pram with no trouble. The Mountain Buggy Nano is really easy to open and close as well. It's really quick. You do need two hands to close it, but it's really quick and easy. And as I said before, it folds up really small. There's also a recline option, so you can recline the seat back so that your baby can nap but it doesn't recline totally flat, which is true for most lightweight strollers and umbrella strollers. And this one is quite easy to recline. As you see, you just pull down here and then you push the clip back up to tighten it and raise the seat back up when you want your baby to sit upright again. Like similar strollers, you do need to put the back of the pram up before you can fold the pram. At the back of the pram there is some breathable mesh so you can leave that open, you can roll up the back and secure that so that there's a bit more air coming through the back of the pram particularly if it's hot or you can unclip the cover and bring it back down and make it all nice and dark for your baby when they're sleeping. The seat has a five point harness which I find a lot easier to clip in than some of the other prams I've had where you've got to bring two pieces and fit them together and then slot them into the harness, particularly because my daughter is a real squirmer. So anything that allows me to strap it in quicker and easier is a win for me. So I have to say my other favourite thing about this pram other than the size of it is that it is one handed steering so it makes it so easy when you're grocery shopping you can easily pull or carry a basket of stuff and grab stuff off shelves you can hold a drink in your hand while you're pushing the pram and it's yeah it's so much more convenient I just love it. You can also adjust the height of the seat straps relative to the pram seat as your child grows and you can also adjust the footrest as well. It's pretty simple to adjust the footrest. 
I think the size of the basket underneath is really easy to get to. I've even managed to put bulky boxes underneath the seats. I managed to fit a box of those Curash wipes under the seat with no problem. When I've been grocery shopping, I've managed to fit enough under the seat that I can do a fairly decent grocery shop if I'm just going in for sort of a top up or a quick shop. You know, I've got my heavier stuff like milk and things down the bottom and then I might have a couple of bags of light up items which I can just carry with me as I push my pram back to the car. Even though the mountain buggy nano has four smaller wheels so this is a lightweight trail stroller. It's not designed to be a walking or a jogging pram for its design. It performs quite well going up Curves. It really clinched it for me when I was trying to decide what stroller to buy is the price. So for $399 Australian, I think that is a really good deal. I know you can get similar travel strollers for like lower and higher prices. That price I was comfortable with because I knew that I was only going to use this pram for the one child. And I have had a few prams throughout my motherhood so I had something to compare it to and I just really really loved it. So now to the cons. There are a few things that I think could probably be improved. One of them is definitely adjusting the handle height because my husband and I are very different in height. I think it would be nice if you could adjust the handle up. One small thing which isn't a huge deal there is a foot brake instead of a handbrake. I do prefer handbrakes, but I think most lightweight strollers or smaller compact strollers would use foot brakes rather than handbrakes. I just find that when you're wearing flip flops or thongs on your feet, that it is a little bit harder to work the foot brake. And I feel like you've got a little bit more control over a handbrake, but it's not a deal breaker for me. Also the sun canopy is quite shallow. I don't think it extends as well as it could. And I know this is probably to keep the stroller a bit more lightweight and smaller and compact when it folds up. I think it would be nice to have the option to extend the canopy so maybe it's got like a zip extension you can extend it out. That would be really handy. I think you can purchase weather packets for the Mountain Buggy Nano though which includes both a sunshade and a rain cover. And I think my biggest con or my biggest bugbear with this pram, there's so many other things I love about this pram that this doesn't really annoy me enough not to use it, but the straps can be a little bit fiddly to adjust. And my daughter is a real squirmer. She likes to fiddle with the strap covers, slide them up and down. So I do find that because she's fiddling around there, the straps are a little bit easier to come loose and I have to readjust them more constantly than I would with other prams with like the traditional slider clips. And then lastly, this is obviously not designed to be a walking or jogging pram. It is designed to be a sort of more urban, travel, lightweight pram. So it's not great on bumpy terrain and it's not excellent on grass, but it does the job on grass. So I've had to, you know, when I've gone to like a picnic, we've had to wheel a pram on grass. It's been fine as long as it's relatively smooth and flat. But yeah, anything really kind of rocky or bumpy, this is not really the pram if you want to go on sort of rough terrain walks and that kind of thing. I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, I'd love to have you subscribe. If you're new to my channel, you can do so by clicking my face below. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.